Hi, this is Ashok here. I am a trainer for CFA and you are watching Phoenix training YouTube channel where I make content pertaining to CFA and investment banking topics. Direct and indirect quote. What is the difference between these two terminologies? Direct and indirect quote. Uh, very basic one for understanding forex. So, if for example, if I say one dollar is equal to eighty rupees, so one dollar is equal to eighty rupees. I can also say, so that means, you know, like one dollar is eighty rupees. I can also say one rupee is, you know, if I take the inverse, it becomes zero point zero one two five dollar. So both are correct only. This is also correct. This is also correct. I can say like this also. However, the convention is we follow this method. Like in India, we say one dollar is eighty rupees. But that doesn't mean the right hand side is wrong. Even this is also right only. One rupee is zero point zero one two five dollar. Both are correct. But this is the convention that we are following. Typically. Uh, stronger currency is kept at the base so this is called base currency okay base currency and the numerator one is called as the price currency or also called as the quote currency quote currency or price currency numerator and the base currency the denominator currency is called as the uh, base currency okay denominator currency is called as the base currency okay so now what is direct quote and what is indirect quote so direct quote means now if i say one dollar is 80 rupees that means for per unit of for per unit of foreign currency for per unit of foreign currency when we uh, quote in domestic currency it is called when we quote in domestic currency it is called direct quote so we follow direct quote in india okay so for per unit of foreign currency for us dollar is the foreign currency so for per unit of uh, foreign currency dollar uh, domestic currency we require is 80 so this is called direct quote now when i say 1 rupee is 0.0125 dollar this is called indirect quote that means for per unit of for per unit of domestic currency Okay, for per unit of domestic currency, we are quoting in foreign currency. We are quoting in foreign currency. Okay, we are quoting in foreign currency. So, this is indirect. So, if I quote like this, it is not wrong, but it is it is an indirect quote indirect quote okay now you can even say like you know what if uh, domestic currency is not at all involved so if i say 1 dollar is equal to let's say 1.05 euro so here which rate is this whether this is a direct rate a direct quote or indirect quote so here because there is no you know like uh, home currency involved if there is no home currency involved then this is simply called as cross rates okay cross rates i can call this as all right this is this is the difference basic difference between direct and indirect quote thank you so much for your time